Hey, what's going on, everybody? GW here. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. This is a 2002 Toyota Tundra. Not just any Toyota Tundra. This was my dad's 2002 Toyota Tundra. And uh, she's big and she's red and he named her Raquel after Raquel Welch. The issue with this is the seatbelt, the actual clicky part of that, the housing is no longer working and broke. So we're gonna pull out the driver's side door, driver's side door, no, we're gonna pull out the driver's side seat and fix it. So what we've done is we've taken these pieces off the front of this and this is a 14 millimeter bolt. Same thing in the back. One there, and then we'll pop the plastic piece off of here and remove that bolt as well. So we have all of our bolts out, and then the next thing we've got to do is square the seat up, uh, tilt it back very slowly because it's got electronics in there as far as the seat movement and the sensor for the seat belt. Lower the seat back down, carefully walk it out. We have our seat turned on its side and you will see to the back, there is a Phillips head connection. So also in the removal, you'll want to watch out for, there is a clip oh, right there. I just found something else out guys. So here, this piece here, this pulls out and hides another Phillips head screwdriver as a connection. All right. Well, I've just taken the whole thing apart. This just pul pulps. This just pops out of here, and then there's another white piece that's gonna end up just popping out of the bottom over here. I don't know if you can see where I'm talking about, but we. Hey. Ah, success. Here is the old housing. Here is the brand new one. Let's put it together. All right. Hey. We're going to be. All right, so we'll hook these two pieces in together. It came with this piece. And I think they wanted this piece to get pushed into there uh, and have this piece slid in like this so that this can slide and have this piece connected like that, that connected to there. And then, all right, pushed in. There you can see it's folded over and connected in. Next piece we have is this piece. Now it's time to reseat the outer case. Okay, now it is time to put this thing back where it belongs. Shaky cam brought to you by me. Okay. 
boom yeah there we go still got some nice movement right there what i'm gonna do is push this down i'm going to replace push that over that make sure it lines up with the screw hole Now we also have to make sure that this piece over here connects into, uh, it is into its little point where it needs to be. That's gonna get zipped, connected, screw pieces into my pocket so they didn't get lost. Hand tightened. And tightened. Excellente. Now, whoops, other way. And then we'll push this in so it can hide everything again. I have no extra pieces. Sweetness. All right, it's time to reverse engineer the seat back into the truck. Yeah. Also, at this time, if there were any things underneath the seat you needed to clean out, clear out, vacuum up or whatever, do it now. Now that we've wrestled it back to where it needs to be, we're gonna tip it up and plug back in the electronics. And remember, it's about a 14 millimeter socket and you don't wanna tighten them all the way down at the beginning because you might have some minor adjustments to be made. No adjustments needed. We're gonna go ahead and snug these down. Replace the covers that hide all the bolts and mechanical stuff. So nice. We will replace this piece. Well, this piece just kind of slides straight in and straight on. We're gonna slide this back to where, you know, I would normally do it. Seatbelt feels secure right here. Here is this. Oh, it latches nicely. Oh, let's make sure I can get out of it. And I can. Just to let you see, this is an old one right here on the passenger seat. This is the new one. This was easy. Made the truck a lot safer because that wasn't working. <sighs> It took all of about 45 minutes because of, you know, I had to stop to, to film as well. But we now have a safe 2002 Toyota Tundra for my mom to drive around in. And I'm happy because at, I mean, less than $40, I think it cost. So I'm also going to give credit where credit is due. Uh, thanks to the members of Toyota Tundra forums.com. They came in clutch with some good recommendations and some links about where to where to get some things. So kudos to you guys. Thank you so much. Worth it. Safety. Thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, how about you leave me one down that way? Maybe a comment. How'd you like it? And if you want to, there's a little bell notification thing. So if you want to see me do any more fun videos, um, you'll be up to date. Okay. You guys have a lovely day. It is getting beautiful outside. I'm starting to sweat from being in the direct sunlight. Wow. Catch me on the next video because I will catch you then. Bye.